ऑनडीन स्कर्स इज बेस्ट रिलेटेड टू ए हाइपर वेंटिलेशन बी ऑब्स्ट्रेक्टिव स्लीप एपनिया सिंड्रोम सी कंजेनाइटल सेंट्रल हाइपो वेंटिलेशन सिंड्रोम सी सी एच एस डी ओबेसिटी हाइपो वेंटिलेशन सिंड्रोम एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी कंजेनाइटल सेंट्रल हाइपो वेंटिलेशन सिंड्रोम सी सी एच एस ऑनडीन स्कर्स इज ऑल्सो नोन एज कंजेनाइटल सेंट्रल हाइपो वेंटिलेशन सिंड्रोम सी सी एच एस इट इज ए रेयर कंडीशन वेर द बॉडीज ऑटोमेटिक ब्रीदिंग कंट्रोल डजेंट वर्क प्रॉपरली एस्पेशली ड्यूरिंग स्लीप दिस कैन लीड टू शैलो ब्रीदिंग और इवन पॉजिस ड्यूरिंग ब्रीदिंग कॉजिंग लो ऑक्सीजन एंड हाई कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेवल्स इन द ब्लड ट्रीटमेंट यूजअली इन्वॉल्व यूजिंग ए ब्रीदिंग डिवाइस ड्यूरिंग स्लीप टू सपोर्ट ब्रीदिंग एंड प्रिवेंट कॉम्प्लिकेशंस Which of the following stimulates respiration? A. Acetazolamide. B. Estrogen. C. Testosterone. D. Norepinephrine. And the correct answer is A. Acetazolamide. Acetazolamide stimulates breathing. Most malignant mesotheliomas are related to exposure to a silica, b asbestos, c benzene, d carbon, and the correct answer is b asbestos. Malignant mesothelioma is a cancer of the thin tissue that lines the lung, chest wall, and abdomen. The major risk factor for mesothelioma is asbestos exposure. Pallas sign refers to a focal oligemia, b peripheral wedge shaped density above diaphragm, c enlarged right descending pulmonary artery. D enlarged left descending pulmonary artery and the correct answer is C enlarged right descending pulmonary artery Pallas sign is a clinical sign in which an enlarged right descending pulmonary artery is seen on the chest x-ray in patients with pulmonary embolism it exhibits as a sausage appearance on x-ray It is named after Italian radiologist Antonio Palla. What is the primary characteristic of Tietze syndrome? A bilateral chest pain without swelling. B swelling of the vertebral column. C chest pain and swelling at the costochondral junction. D generalized swelling of the chest wall and the correct answer is C chest pain and swelling at the costochondral junction Tietze syndrome is when your joints near your ribs get swollen and painful these joints connects your ribs to your breastbone this condition affects the costochondral junction which is where your ribs meet your breastbone Pectus carinatum is also called as A hydrocephalus B kyphoscoliosis C pigeon breast D barrel chest and the correct answer is C pigeon breast Pectus carinatum is a deformity of the chest wall in which the breast bone and ribs are pushed outward Pectus carinatum is sometimes called pigeon breast because of the bird like appearance of the chest. The only symptom that can be attributed to the malignant pleural effusion itself is a dyspnea, shortness of breath, b pain, c cough, d hemoptysis. And the correct answer is A dyspnea
shortness of breath malignant pleural effusion refers to the accumulation of fluid in the pleural space due to cancer shortness of breath is often the primary symptom because the accumulated fluid puts pressure on the lungs limiting their expansion and impairing breathing other symptoms may also be present depending on the underlying cause and severity of the effusion but the primary symptom is shortness of breath that is dyspnea which of the following conditions can be a consequence of ventilator induced lung injury a barotrauma b anaphylaxis c diabetic ketoacidosis d iron deficiency anemia and the correct answer is a barotrauma barotrauma in ventilator induced lung injury refers to the mechanical damage incurred by the lung tissue due to excessive pressure delivered by mechanical ventilation it typically manifests as alveolar over distension What is the most common cause of Loeffler's syndrome? A. Tinea solium, tapeworms. B. Wuchereria bancrofti, filariasis. C. Tinea solium, cysticercosis. D. Ascaris lumbricoides, ascariasis. And the correct answer is D. Ascaris lumbricoides, ascariasis. Loeffler syndrome is primarily caused by hypersensitivity reactions to parasitic infections such as Ascaris lumbricoides. It is a rare condition characterized by transient pulmonary infiltrates, eosinophilia, and symptoms such as cough, fever, and difficulty breathing. It's often associated with parasitic infections or allergic reactions, particularly to medications or environmental triggers. Treatment typically involves addressing the underlying cause such as antiparasitic medications or corticosteroids to reduce inflammation. Which feature is not typically associated with Lofgren syndrome? A vasculitis B erythema nodosum C polyarthralgia D bilateral hilar adenopathy and the correct answer is A vasculitis Lofgren syndrome is a specific form of acute sarcoidosis a rare inflammatory disease Which of the following drugs is typically administered to promote the maturation of fetal lungs in cases of preterm birth? A. Betamethasone B. Hydrocortisone C. Prednisolone D. Both B and C And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates, follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching.